The pandemic really has changed and expanded the way many of us communicate. The same goes for those who are blind or have visual impairments with unique challenges. Gabrielle Pfeiffer joins us now with how leaders with one group are trying to raise awareness during Braille Literacy Month. Good morning. Good morning, Teresa. Leaders with the Bureau of Services for Blind Persons say they've had to learn to adjust to offering virtual services just like everybody else. Agency staff continue to teach Braille, which is a communication method used by blind or visually impaired individuals. It allows them to read by sliding their fingertips across raised dots to make out words. They had to change the way they provided services during the pandemic, training that were normally done in person had to move virtual. Staffers say they were able to ramp up accessibility with the help of their Braille library and technology. They say this ensured their clients had the same access and opportunities as everyone else. With that ability, they're able to access employment opportunities, you know, um, community inclusion opportunities. You know, it's, it's so the resources are just are awesome, you know, with, with technology. As, as a former colleague of mine said, it really, it, it evens the playing field. Agency leaders say it's up to schools and businesses to seek out methods uh, to support the blind and visually impaired. You can find ways to better serve this group by reaching out to the agency directly. Reporting live here in the newsroom, Gabrielle Pfeiffer, News Aids. We'll get an update today 